Today, we're going to show you how to update the maps and software on your Garmin Diesel OTR Navigator using a Wi-Fi network. The process is the same for the Diesel OTR 800 Navigator and Diesel OTR 1000 Navigator. But today, we will be using the Diesel OTR 1000 Navigator. You can use a computer in Garmin Express if necessary, but the Wi-Fi option requires fewer steps. To successfully complete a Wi-Fi update, a wireless connection to home high-speed internet is required. It is important to avoid using mobile hotspot. Check out our Wi-Fi connection video for tips to ensure your Wi-Fi update is successful. To begin, plug the device into a power source using the included micro USB cable and connect it to the micro USB port below the power button. Then connect the other end of the cable to power. Once the navigator powers on, you will need to read and accept the warning and select the vehicle profile. The navigator will then take you to the where to and view map screen. Select the app drawer, which is the white circle icon with six dots. The app drawer has two tabs, diesel and tools. Select the tools tab, which is a wrench icon with a clock in the bottom left corner. Next, select system updates. If you are not already connected to a Wi-Fi network, you will need to select access Wi-Fi setting. Make sure Wi-Fi is turned on. Available networks will be displayed. Select your network and enter the password if prompted. Once connected to your Wi-Fi network, select the back arrow to access system updates. Your navigator will automatically search for available map and software updates. A blue download arrow indicates an update is available. A green check mark indicates it is up to date. Select download to start all available updates. If you have not connected your navigator to a power source, you will now be prompted to do so. Follow the on-screen prompts. These updates will take an extended period of time. You will not be able to use your navigator during the update. After the download is finished, select Restart and Install to finish the update. And that's it. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com. Thanks for watching.